Hello everyone and welcome to Playground AI. This may be the best free image generator on the internet. And I don't say that lightly. And when I say free, it's basically a thousand video a thousand images part of me per day, which is technically free, but if you go over that, you just create a second account. So whatever, let me show you how to do this. Let me show you a little bit about it. If you look at this is the the original screen playgroundai.com links in the description. Look at this, just look at the quality of this. This is generated using this software. It is wild. It is browser based, so you don't have to download anything or go anywhere. You just go right to the website and off we go. Okay, here we go. Let's start it off. Let's click on create and let's get the ball rolling. This will be a very brief overview of the product. If you want to log in and try it out yourself, I recommend it because there's lots here and it's hard to go over everything all at once. So first off, the big thing is prompting. This is basically, like I said, an AI image generator and it relies on your prompt. Now you can type in anything you want and it will do the best it can to render it. That said, it does a pretty good job most of the time. Every once in a while it gets it catastrophically incorrect and those are hilarious. So in a lot of ways it's worth it. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to type in here like I did French Bulldog on a beach, Blue Lake, mountains in the background, something simple like that. And then I'm going to click generate. And then while it generates here, you'll see here it counts down how long it takes. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some other options while it does that. Oh, look at that. It did that quickly and I like it. That is great. The, the left eye here is a little bit too dark on the left side of his face, but that's okay. So right there, we've got a great image. And remember when I said it was free? It's free. Just click on this little button here, download it. Click on what you downloaded. You got the image right there. It's a little guy, but that's okay. If you want to make the images bigger, let's, well, let's just get right into it here. First off, let's go to the model. There are three models you can use. Two of them are technically free. Dolly 2, I believe used to be free, but now they charge you. So you could steer clear of it. Stable Diffusion 1.5 gives you the most options, but Stable Dif Diffusion 2.1 is also quite good, although it just gives you a lot fewer things you can do with it. If you want to create different sizes, I created a nice simple square, but if I wanted a bigger one, and why not? It's always better when it's bigger. Um, why not? Just click on that. If you want it wider or narrower, there are a few different options here. 768 by 512 and then 512, 768, etc. Okay, good. Prompt guidance is basically like seeding and styling. Like how much, how, how much does the uh, does the software have to stick to your prompt? How much creative leeway are you giving it? Higher, higher values will make your image closer to your prompt. Lower values will give the software or the program a little bit of free with freedom to do what it wants. And then quality and details really quickly here. It defaults to 50 and that's a pretty good one. If you get something you really, really like, you can go all the way up to 150. But that said, you can only run at 150 for a few ones before it starts asking you for money. Or alternatively, you just drop it back down to 50 and you stay free. Okay, the last thing I want to show you on the right side here is this right here. Very, very important. Instead of the number of images setting to one, set it to four. I mean, if you're going to do something, do it four times. It's better to have four bites at the cherry than one. And it's the same cost. It's nothing. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, the right side is out of the way. Let's look at the left side here. So we added in our stuff here. Now, here's the other thing you can keep in mind. You can remove things from the image. For example, in Midjourney, if you type in, you know, make a character and it comes out with glasses on, sometimes you don't want it to wear glasses. You don't, you don't want it gla glasses free. So I would just type in here glasses so that it's being removed from the image. In this case, I don't need to, but something to keep in mind. And then the big one is filter. This is a little bit of a misnomer. I don't think it's quite what it means if you think about Instagram filters and stuff like that. This is actually more like style. This is more like, you know, if you were to make something in the style of using Midjourney, for example, this is kind of that thing. So if you want to make it cartoony, if you want to make it uh, Wooly, which is like a Migurami or something like that, and, and the other program I just learned about it the other day. You wanted to make it anime, etc., etc. You want it to be um, an oil painting, cinematic. You know, it's all in here, and you can try these out. They're quite good. In this case, I'm going to go with, I don't know, well, we just went with nothing, but if I wanted to make it cinematic, we could do that, and then I can click on Regenerate and see what happens. We're going to get four cracks at the cherry here because, look, we set the number of images to four, and now we're regenerating with the same prompt, but we're using the cinematic filter. So I just want to show you the the quality of the filters, and boo, hey, these are pretty good. Uh, yeah, you know what? Not too bad. I don't know why they added in a second bulldog, but so be it. Look at this one. This one's very, very nice. We're going to click on this one, and again, it's free. Just click on download. But there are other options. If you like this one, but maybe you want some variations, 
add in some variations. I clicked on the plus sign. Variations are coming. If you want to edit this or make alternative actions to it, just click on this button. For example, there's edit, there's make it private. I don't know why you do that, but go ahead. There's in painting where you can sort of paint around it and kind of make some changes to it. Face restoration. If you love the image, you can upscale it 4x. It, you know, it's it's there's stuff there. You can click on the edit button here. Looks pretty cool, but maybe I want to mask out something. Maybe I maybe his eyes should be a different color. I wouldn't do this, but I want to show you the technique. So this is where it kind of combines with like Photoshop skills or Photoshop. And then watch if I you can change the size of the brush. So I'm going to make it a very small brush, and I'm just going to kind of dop over his eyeballs right there. And if you zoom in. You'll see here that we've kind of just put some red on his eyes. And now I'm going to add another instruction. So I'm going to make, make um, I'm going to make his eyes pink, something like that. OK, and then click generate. And because we masked it, it's going to try and make that area pink. So I've got this good looking bulldog and hopefully he comes up with pink eyes and it did not do a very good job. So I apologize. But again, what can you do? Uh, we could try again. We can make it bigger. So we'll make the we'll make it like this area just to see if we could get this to pink and I'll be in make it pink and click generate. And again, I just did this very, very quickly. I just want to show you what this program is capable of and hopefully it does it. And let's see if it wins me uh, an award. And it does. He's got a pink forehead. How awesome is that? OK, so there you go. I'm going to cancel out of this because I don't want the pink pupper. But I wanted you to see it. Now, here are the four generations or the variants that we created while we were sort of chilling here. And I like this one. He's got a pretty wild looking face on him. Um, whatever. All good, right? You want to download it? Click download. Remember all those other actions? You can, you can in-paint it. You can do these changes to it. Get a thousand of these a day. Amazing software. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.